Hey, this is Ken Finnan at Capital Advantage Tutoring for another way too fast rundown on options, part one. Hopefully it won't be more than two parts. I almost got caught in the thunderstorm. It looks beautiful now, but I was killed. I got caught in the middle of cutting it and it was great. It was fun, it was so much fun. Here we go. So option suitability is super important on the seven. It's not just doing the break even, max gain, max loss. You have to know why people do it. So this is the first part of hopefully two, maybe three. So let's think, if we're looking for growth, growth, we're looking for speculation, we're gonna buy options. So if you're bullish and you want speculation, you're gonna buy a call. If you're bearish and you want speculation, you're gonna buy a put. Don't worry about the reasons yet, you can always look that up and do that, but just understand, if you're bullish and you want speculation, you buy calls. If you're bearish, you buy puts, so why? Buy calls, you have unlimited gain. You buy a 50 call, you have the right to buy it no matter how high it goes at a price. Buy a put, you have the right to sell it no matter how low it goes, even if it goes to zero. So when you buy an option, when you buy a call or you buy a put, you have big gain potential and very small risk. Okay, you can only lose what you paid. So if you so now that works. So if I'm bullish, speculation, buy a call, bearish speculation, I buy a put. On the opposite side, what if I want income? I just want some cash. Well, if I'm neutral to bearish, I would sell a call to take in the premium. I get the premium. If I'm neutral to bullish, then I would sell a put because selling puts are bullish and I take in the premium. So if I hear the word income, I always know I'm selling an option. If I hear growth or even protection, which I'll cover in a second, I'm always going to be doing buying an option. So you buy to protect, you sell for income. Always sell for income. Get that in your head. Secondly, if I'm long stock, I want to get through a couple of these. If I'm long stock, how do you protect it? Well, I want it to go up. I'm afraid it's going to go down, so I buy a put. So if you're long stock, you buy a put to protect. That's called the married put. Buy stock, buy a put. I love it. Now, what if you buy stock and you're neutral? You don't think it's going to go crazy, but you want to put some money in your pocket. You would sell a call. So you buy stock and you sell a call for income. That's called a covered call. Or if you buy stock and you buy a put, that's a married put. That's protection. Ah, so wait. So if I, I'm long stock, I can either sell a call or buy a put. Sell a call or buy a put. I got it. And by the way, if you do both of them at the same time, it's called a collar. You have, you have a little bit of income and you have protection. Now, the other side of this, if you're short stock, you know what shorting is because you're borrowing shares, you're selling them, you're afraid they're going to go up. So how do you protect yourself? You would buy a call. Good. So from short stock, I buy a call to protect. If I want income, I'm going to sell a put. Remember, every time you hear the word income, you know you're selling. So if I'm long stock, I sell a call for income. If I'm short stock, I sell a put for income. So if I, so what can I do? If I'm short stock, I can either sell a put or buy a call. And if I do both of them, that's a collar. I take the money in. So that doing both, I would sell the put for the income to buy the call for protection. Part two coming up in a couple days.